What's up good people, Duretti Spaghetti here, another episode to Fairy's Booster Box. Why wait? Let's dig our hands in that grubby little box. Let's see what we end up getting here. Ugh. We've got Eldritch, Gatewatch, oh, and an Innistrad. All right, we got a little high risk pack happening here. All righty, let's open these suckers up. Okay, as we typically do, we are going to go from newest to oldest. Innistrad will wait until the end. So Oath and Eldritch Moon. Eh, let's do Eldritch Moon. Just to get that out of the way. Cracking, lacking packs. Alright. Let's see here. Might have to... There we go. My camera game, I'm still figuring it out. You'd think I'd have this shit down, but... <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. Otherworldly Outburst. A Dawn Griff. Prey Upon. Wailing Ghoul. Zombie. Zombies are going to be huge and standard with Amon Ket coming out. Grapple with the Past. Stenzia Innkeeper. Spectral Reserves. Turn Aside. Alchemist Greeting. Haunted Dead. Spreading Flames. Advanced Stitchwing, and an Elder Deep Fiend. Okay. It's eight. It's colorless. Flash. Emerge. Five. Blue. Blue. And when you cast it, you get to tap up to four permanents. And a Midnight Scavengers for our double-faced card. Oh! I haven't opened up one of these ever in any of the packs that I have here, so... It's one of those like crazy double-sided cards that gets, you know, freaking massive. It's like the size of a, probably like an arch enemy card or a commander card that comes in the packs, the big ones. So that's cool. All right. So nothing, uh, nothing too crazy there. Elder Deep Fiend, I think. I don't know. My, uh, my knowledge of prices and stuff like that right now is, is waning. I typically know more of like the eternal stuff, the vintage and legacy, that type of stuff, what holds its value, whatever's in standard. I'm like terrible with it. Unless it's like ridiculous, like that Jace was from Origins for the longest time. Anyway, Oath of the Gatewatch. We've got Umara Entangler, Consuming Sinkhole, Shoulder to Shoulder, A Slaughter Drone, Canopy Gorger, Kozlik Shrieker, Isolation Zone, Tar Snare, Reality Hemorrhage, we got a Waste, that's cool, uh, Null Collar, I wish that was Foil, the, the Waste, not the Null Collar, Void Shatterer, uh, Malakar Soothsayer, and a Dread Defiler, six and a black, Devoid, means it has no color, even though it kind of does. Three and a uh, waste or colorless exile a creature card from your graveyard. Target opponent loses life equal to the exile card power. And a swamp. Okay. Still nothing amazing. No inventions. Which makes me sad. I should have held on to the boxes that I bought like when the sets all first came out because I was cracking uh I was cracking inventions and expeditions like it was my job. But now that I actually want to film it for people, my luck has runneth out. But, here we go. Innistrad. Oh man. Liliana. Snappy. Oh, these old packs. They just never want to open. Alright, there we go. And keep it intact so that way I can uh, ooh, I can keep it uh, in my my trade binder the outsides of it because I like doing that all right here we go hysterical blindness Abyssinian priest riot devils 
Ambush Viper, Dream Twist, pretty decent mill card, Village Bell Ringer, Caravan Vigil, Sensory Deprivation, that artwork is freaking glorious and creepy all at the same time, Travel Preparations, Burning Vengeance, Mega Wish, Invisible Stalker, and Nevermore. I think that's worth a kind of a decent amount. I, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but one white white as Nevermore enters the battlefield name a non-land card. The name card can't be cast. So, good for Pillow Fort EDH stuff. Um, yeah, I, I want to say that has some value to it, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, and we've got a tactics card. I mean, straight to the garbage card or double-sided one. And Grizzled Outcasts. Alrighty, so nothing too crazy. Some decent stuff. I, I really think Nevermore is worth something, but I could be completely wrong too. I don't know. I need to brush up on, on my game here, but I can't. It's hard for me to like research prices on stuff immediately because I don't know what the hell I'm pulling out of that box <laughs> when I do it. So, um,. Yeah, well, thanks for watching to Fairy's Booster Box. As always, you know, these are fueling uh, the grab bags that I'm making. I've got a lot to make. I need to really get on that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, please like, comment, subscribe for all the updates on the channel. Uh, hopefully you saw my other video that I uploaded about, you know, kind of having to scale back on these. I feel bad about having to do that, but it's getting to be really hard with a lot of stuff with my personal life, with my job. I change jobs, and um, I am in school yet again with stuff, not trying to make excuses. So, uh, so yeah, so thanks for sticking with it. You know, we're going to find other ways to get creative, to get videos on the channel. Just Teferi's Booster Box might have to get scaled back for... A little while just while I get settled in with with life here so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Teferi's Booster Box bye bye